In a recent incident in Singapore, a 24-year-old man has been sentenced to four weeks in jail and fined 800 Singapore dollars for refusing to leave a train and getting into a scuffle with an assistant station manager. This incident lays bare the challenges faced by transit staff when dealing with unruly passengers and the repercussions such behavior can have on the perpetrator. Details of the incident The incident occurred when the man, under the influence of alcohol, adamantly refused to exit the train. When the assistant station manager requested him to leave, he became aggressive. The situation quickly escalated as the man began throwing his belongings around and started chasing the station manager. The climax of the altercation saw the drunken man pushing the station manager's head against the train door multiple times. The assistant station manager, as a result of the scuffle, suffered a concussion and abrasions. These physical injuries underscore the severity of the incident and the risks public transit staff often face in the line of duty. Legal repercussions The man was subsequently charged with voluntarily causing hurt, a serious offence in Singapore. This particular charge carries a maximum penalty of three years imprisonment and a fine of up to five Singapore dollars. 000, however, the court, in this case, sentenced the man to four weeks jail and a fine of 800 Singapore dollars. Implications for public transit safety This incident serves as a stark reminder of the safety challenges in public transit systems. It underscores the need for adequate security measures to protect staff and passengers. There is also a call for stringent laws and their effective enforcement to deter such unruly behavior. Looking forward. While the incident is regrettable, it is hoped that it serves as a deterrent for similar behavior in the future. Public transportation is a vital cog in the urban infrastructure, and ensuring its smooth operation is paramount. This includes safeguarding the physical well-being and safety of the staff who manage and operate these systems.